because nobody knows your business as good as you. Government may have a lot of tools, but it is not their business, it is your business. And you know it best, but it's working together, we get the best results. And so, I would only like to say that as you go forth in creating more projects, okay, I know this is just the beginning, uh, I'd like you to know that we have established a special, a special project fund for Bridgetown so that if you do projects that are benefiting the city, you can invest through that fund and receive by statute 150% tax concession uh, for what your investment are. So you can make it economically viable as well as commercially. This viable. represents an illustration of unity in diversity. Number one. Number two, ask them if they asked the Chamber of Commerce to get involved in what they did. They did not. And when I asked them to do so, they said, no, no, we can handle it on our own. Which is fine. For a very long time, we have been making the pitch that business persons have to invest in the market in which their primary customers are, whether on your own or through the Chamber. The Chamber has certain facilities that has been set up, but you can also do it on your own. And I think that you have used the correct title in terms of your name, Bridgetown Express. A train has many coaches but one engine. <laughs> and the duty-free sector has been the engine to drive the activities in Bridgetown. And this fits in most harmoniously and complements everything else that we are doing in the revitalization project. We recently partnered with Inter-American Development Bank and we have timelines where specific activities co coordinating with what you're doing will happen. We are doing our part as a government also. The Ministry of Finance, as you know, tried the duty free day. Um, I believe that was last year. Um, the year before. The year before. And we, 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 we are looking as a government at some other things. One of the proposals being considered is allowing anyone to purchase duty free once they're paying in a foreign currency. Certainly that receives the support of the Ministry of Tourism. I think it will do a lot for uh, making Bridgetown and Barbados more attractive as a shopping destination. But having said that, the Ministry of Finance is, is going through the, uh, the options and is very careful to make commitments like that at this stage, but it is suddenly receiving active consideration. And I do look forward to seeing that one day that would be possible, where we could, in, in essence, be, be a, a duty-free port, um, with the condition, of course, to pay in foreign exchange. So there, 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 there are those, those opportunities for us to, to work even closer to get projects have been a bit slower than I would like coming forward. There's a piece of legislation called the Tourism Development Act. It, was passed in 2002, I believe, and the has been amended once already and will be amended to make sure we continue to go at it. It replaced something called the Hotel AIDS Act because the government of the day that I was not part of, but give them credit, felt that tourism is more than just hotels. And the Act, in its very construction, allows for the Minister of Tourism to designate any project, a tourism project, and that project can enjoy all the concessions and incentives that the hotel enjoys. However, uh, I have made the point publicly on at least two other occasions that I have not been bombarded with projects from the Bridgetown area from which they can enjoy the DEA concessions. And, uh, and I sincerely hope that the Bridgetown Express, I haven't seen their application, I do like I hope that this effort can, can maybe encourage others to, to get involved because that is the that is the whole idea of trying to enhance the whole visitor experience. I heard someone the other day come back from a trip to Jamaica raving 
um, recently about the fact that they were in, um, I think it was either Mobe or Ocho Rios. And every store they went into, they were greeted with something, either it was a cold rum punch or a, some kind of a Jamaican sweet or whatever it is. And they, they felt that it lent that tiny little bit of personalization. It wasn't just what you're coming here to buy, but how can we share with you? And I think I thought that that was something that we could learn from. Sometimes copying is the best form of flattery. But there's so many things that we can do in our businesses to really improve the product that we're offering. The initiative, of course, is very important for the bridge town. Uh, we need to bring girls back into bridge town, and this is what we thought would be the best way to do it. At Demons International, Little Switzerland, Cleveros, Gabe Shepherd had the experience already with this, so they knew what they were about to present and us coming on board only lends more support for the initiative. And it's a very strong initiative that we hope that will open more doors to the further development of Bridgetown. That's what it is the Bridgetown Express. We have partnered, and if we fierce competitors can do it, <laughs> I think this is a project that can be taken throughout Barbados. And if other industries, other businesses can partner together, that's the way we're forward. The idea of a collective bus shuttle came out of a meeting in the offices of Columbia Networks two months ago when Angela Rifa, area retail manager herself, said the best way for us to make our shuttle bigger and better is if we partner with our competitors to make it happen. Um, nervous as we were, we relied on the relationships built by Mary Seeley with Diamonds International through Simone Ward and Mr. Jacob Hasid and Mr. Thaddy, and Mary got the first meeting together, and we really were surprised by the positive energy that everyone had.